Hey there lads and ladies, this is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I want to talk to you about PSVR, just in general, in particular PSVR after E3 2018. So I'll start by saying that you already know this if you've been following me, but I'm very very excited for Firewall Zero Hour. I think that game's gonna be good grace maybe even a killer app that kind of territory but what am i excited for after firewall releases honestly not very much there's ace combat 7 and that got a new trailer today but there's still no release date in that so who knows when that will be i get the feeling it's going to slip to 2019 and also who knows how big a part of ace combat 7 will be psv or supported i just watched that newest trailer and while there was some parts that did look like they were PSVR gameplay, they were minimal. Now there was a decent number of PSVR games revealed at E3 this year, or rather leading up to E3. Games like Evasion and Creed, they do look promising. Beat Saber is a nice addition too, so was Astrobot, and I'm sure Ghost Giant will please some of you Moss fans out there. And even that Tetris game, you know, it's probably going to be a high quality Tetris game, you know. But none of those titles met me sit up and say wow you know I can't fucking wait for this I'm gonna make some in-depth videos analysis on these trailers like I do for firewall because none of those games tickle my asshole like firewall does so then at Sony's conference itself they showed us that Trover saves the world or universe game and you know I did enjoy accountant plus I like Justin Roiland's sense of humor even if it is very you know oh, oh geez uh, I'm not reading from a script oh geez I'm, I'm just describing the things that are on the screen you know and it's a bit repetitive that way but still they're decent games not something I'm gonna be super hyped for though and right after the conference we got the reveal for the new from software VR game Deracine or Deracini or I don't know I don't speak French if that is French, I don't know. And to be fair, I am actually interested in this one solely because it is a From Software game, and Bloodborne was amazing. But the recurring theme I got from Sony at E3 when it comes to the PlayStation VR was that they almost seem to want to distance themselves from that, from these games. They dumped a bunch out about two weeks before E3 for no good reason. I mean, imagine if instead of that stupid intermission they gave us, where they, they had these four talking heads talking shite what if they just showed us those trailers there instead show us evasion show us creed you know tetris whatever the fuck you want to show to show them there would have been a lot better i would have been a bit happier now i know there's still gamescom and paris games week tokyo game show psx and those other smaller shows and i've no doubt sony will show more viewer games there and give them more of a prominent position. I mean, Firewall was revealed at PSX after all, so I don't think Sony have actually given up or anything like that. I just feel like they dropped the ball at this year's E3 for us PS4 fans. What we really needed was that one big game, that one triple A title that would have given even the mainstream media a reason to talk. In 2016, it was Resident Evil 7. In 2017, it was Skyrim VR. 2018, it's Tetris, you know, that's that's not quite on the same level, you know. I was so sure that Resident Evil 2 would have a PS Viewer logo at the end of the trailer or something, seeing as Resident Evil 7 was apparently a great success, and that over 10% of all players who played Resident Evil 7 actually played it in the VR mode, so you'd think Capcom would continue with that, but they didn't. But having said that, Resident Evil 2 has been in development for quite a while now, and the third person camera is fairly integral to that experience, is my guess. So I personally I'm still holding out for Resident Evil Ace or the next Resident Evil to be a VR supported title. So if you're worried that Capcom have given up on VR based on it not being in Resident Evil 2, you know, I wouldn't go that far just yet. So then there was Bethesda, who I actually did expect would support VR very strongly, and in some ways they did they announced a Wolfenstein VR game. VR support for a mode in Prey. And then there's that new Elder Scrolls Blades game that they said would also have VR support. So at the time when I was watching this conference, I was actually very happy. But since then, things have gotten fairly murky. That Wolfenstein game, which is actually called Cyberpilot, by the way, has been confirmed to support PSVR, which is good, but it's currently available for pre-order on Amazon for only $20. So with a price like this, I kind of expect it won't be a big, you know, 10 hour game, could be a fairly short experience, 
So that's kind of dampened my hype for that one a bit. But I'm not going to rule it out just yet, just because we know so little about it. Then you have the Prey mode and the Elder Scrolls game, with Bethesda refusing to confirm if they are coming to PSVR or just PC VR, apparently. And there was no sign of that rumoured Fallout 3 Anniversary Edition with VR support, though that was probably a long shot in the first place and just a false rumour. So yeah, we're kinda in limbo right now with Bethesda, but you know, at least they tried, you know? At least they had their announcements at their conference, even if they were very quickly like, oh by the way, this is VR sport. Ubisoft had that transference. It kind of looks like a paranormal activity clone based on the gameplay they showed us. And I mean, I did like paranormal activity a lot, so that's fairly cool. But we already knew about this game, so it's not exactly a new reveal. It's not exactly getting anyone hyped. So you're probably thinking, Oh jeez, Pumpkin, you've been very negative about PSVR all of a sudden, and well, you're kind of right, but I feel it's important to let Sony know how we're feeling about what they're doing. I see some other YouTubers doing a little bit of damage control and being fairly reassuring to their fans and whatever, and those guys do have some valid points. But look, we're nearly two years into the PSVR's life cycle. We've gotten a couple of heavy hitters released already, but you can't slow down. We should be seeing a new wave of big games coming to PSVR. Games on the level of Resident Evil 7, Skyrim, Farpoint, Superhot, and hopefully Firewall. And they should be showing these games at E3, where they'll be the biggest audience to say, hey, this isn't another Vita. We're backing this up. We're not afraid. That's what we need. That's how PSVR grows. Anyway, that's it from my rant. I hope I didn't come across too negatively on the games that did get revealed, because it's not their fault. I want those smaller A to double A games to exist too, but I just want some of that triple A stuff as well, you know? Is that too much to ask? I expect a few of you guys will disagree with me, and I respect that too. Feel free to let me know what you guys thought about E3 this year in terms of PSVR. And if you enjoyed listening to me whine, then please consider doing all the usual shite on the screen to help the channel out. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.